Okay, we're in round three. I'm going to keep this hand. We don't have a white mana, but I think this on the draw especially is fine. We've got right into being to help us find our white mana. Opponent mulls to six and keeps. Another blue-white flyers deck. There's our white mana. So, uh, no need to bust pressure point. Okay, so we can actually do Mystiff Kieran, or we can do Right Into Being. If I play Right Into Being, I'm much closer to Scale Guard, and I get to play Student of Ojutai, which seems like it's going to be really good in this match. But if I play Right Into Being, then it makes the student slightly worse, too. But I really want to be able to play Lotus Path Gen next turn, I think. So I'm going to go Right Into Being. Okay, so we'll make the island a creature and we'll top our land. So turns out I was going to draw land anyway, so I could have done the Kirin, but I don't mind. So I think next turn we're either doing Jin or Student. I can't decide yet. Okay, he's got his own gen. Um, I can swing into Lotus Path gen. There's a decent chance he doesn't block, but I kind of don't want to risk it. I think I'm just going to play student. All right, Skywise Teachings is kind of intimidating here. But he's only got two cards left, so maybe I shouldn't be too worried. Land there would have been really nice, because we would have been able to do Kirin, and then tap down his, or uh, unmorph and eat his Skirmisher, but now we can't, so plans have changed. I think we just get in and play a Lotus Path Gen so we have a blocker for a Skirmisher next turn. Okay. Champion of Erishin is a little bit intimidating. Um, but I think we just play... Well, let's see. The Scale Guard could cause some difficulties. Interesting choices we have here. One card left in my opponent's hand. I can leave up Pressure Point and Silmgar Sorcerer. I can attack with Jen. Play a Kirin. Unmorph if he gets tempted to attack with Skirmisher. Because he clearly doesn't have a trick, or I think he would have attacked with Skirmisher. I think we go for that play. We're not quite at emergency mode just yet. So, Kirin and block the Skirmisher. If he attacks the champion, we'll block that too. Okay, he gets the Skywise Teachings thing here, which is 
kind of a big deal because our Kieran can't do anything. Maybe I should have swung with student too. But unfortunately, the the catastrophe right now is he just got card advantage plus the Skywise teachings. So we're actually in a pretty, really, actually just a really difficult spot here. I guess I can bolster on my Kirin, though. Okay. Well, that makes me feel a little bit better about it. All right. So we'll take our damage. So I play skill guard. I bolster on here. I swing with... Jin Kieran for seven, which is fifty percent of his life. Otherwise, yeah, I think that's the play. I can attack with the manifest too. Probably makes sense. So he can... He can double block the Lotus Path gen, though. And then I can only kill the Monk. I actually don't like that. I think I'm leaving Jin back because of that. Oh, I could have tapped it down. That was a mistake. I don't mind if he blocks champion on my manifest guy. But definitely a mistake. I totally forgot about my own scale guard ability, so I should have attacked with Jen too. I feel okay about this exchange, but I wish I'd got my damage in. Like, it was a good trade, uh, uh, our manifest for a 3-2, because it lets us get in with student now as well. And we at least have some potential life gain coming up, which is nice. Just attack with both. Well, that makes me lose all my confidence. Um, I don't know what to think about that, actually. That's really bizarre. I think I'm just going to block here. I don't want to lose my Mistiff Kirin. And it's probably enduring victory. Plus a token, of course, because he has perfect mana at the moment. Or a whisk away. So, I can play Lotus Patch in, and then I can't keep up Sorcerer. I can play Lotus Patch in, but I can't leave up Pressure Point. I think that's right. So, we're going to need a Pressure Point. So, we swing with everything. Tap the Monk. Play the Djinn. Leave up pressure point for his Lotus Path Gen. Does he not? Maybe he doesn't want to attack here. 
I mean, we have the life gain ace in the hole. He does have whisk away mana up, but... I think we actually let this happen. Okay. This is interesting. Um, there's really no reason to do pressure point on my turn other than the lotus patch in, but I feel like I want the extra card rather than the prowess. Because I want to be able to, like, play a sorcerer and leave... Play a scholar and leave up a sorcerer or something. Okay. Unfortunately, he's going to get yet another token next turn, so it's certainly bad. But I can't do anything about it, so I don't get to draw a card either, which is really bad. So this turn's not going to go very well for us, unfortunately, but I can't do anything about it except accept it, so I will accept it. Unhappily, of course, but I will accept it. Um, I don't even really have a good attack or play here. If I attack with the Kirin and tap that down, he just gets to double block and kill my guy, which seems really terrible. So I think I just play Scholar and leave up Sorcerer and pass, as unfortunate as that is. I could attack with a Jin, but he can just double block with a, his Jins, so it's just not good. So he gets yet another token and gains more life, which is certainly bad for us. So I don't really think it's all that good for us to play a sorcerer just to double block a Lotus Pat Gen. Guess we counter that. I, I honestly don't want to, but uh, at this point I kind of need cards. Okay. It's not the worst. Gives me more tap down fodder, which is nice. Kind of wish he didn't have that, but I guess it could be worse things. Um, Not a great draw there, but can't do much about it. So I guess we cap cast this face down. I don't really have a good attack here, so we'll pass. My morph guy, though, next turn, no, we still really can't attack. If he leaves everything back, we really can't attack. So we basically just need to... I can leave this an illusion for now. Okay, Drowner, and I can sack... <laughs> Nothing really at the moment that I feel comfortable sacking. What am I digging for anyway? I don't know. Sandblast, Artful Maneuver, Shield High Dragon, Reducing Stature. 
guess there's a few things I'm digging for. Um, but I don't know what to sacrifice. I guess Silmgard Sorcerer is the least exciting. But I think I'm going to hold off on playing the Drowner. Like I said, I guess I could tap, tap. It's still not good, though. He still gets to just double block Kieran and kill it. So we have to wait a bit longer here. All right, that's pretty horrible for us. Pretty amazing for him. Um, I didn't have to do that, but yeah, that was a pretty horrific draw, unfortunately. Um, I still don't know what to sacrifice either. I guess at this point I sacrifice my uh, sorcerer, which I really don't want to do, but I can't seem to draw anything other than land, so it seems correct. Um, Outcast doesn't seem all that impressive. Nord is familiar. Anticipate. What am I digging for again? Reducing stature, Ojitized breath. Artful maneuver. Nothing bomby. Really nothing. Shield high dragon. Shield high dragon's like the one thing. I guess Outcast would give me another tap down. I put a counter on it he can just block it with that then which is pretty bad um, I guess I do anticipate for a little bit of life gain although I'm not sure that's going to make that much of a difference anymore um, I think we leave it up for his turn so my lotus patch in can get uh, I mean granted he's drawing off the top but if he draws a spell, we're in we're in a rough place. Okay. So gain a bit of life. Artful maneuver and sandblaster are pretty good here. I think we want the Artful Maneuver. That way we get some more life gain. Okay. So, we're going to swing. Just these two, I think. Maybe I should have attacked the Jin too. See, my, my fear is I attack with all my flyers and he gets to crack back on me for really good damage, but... Might have just been in my best interest. Problem is, he's got the Orator, so I guess he would have been, a, he would have been able to block the... The Lotus Patch in there, now that I think about it. So, it, I guess it wasn't right to attack with Lotus Patch in. Unfortunately, he's got multiple Lotus Patch ends.
Okay. Unfortunate draw. Not because it's it's not that it's a land, but another spell here would have really made a big difference, I think. So let's say I swing with Kirin, Jin, and Kirin, and I tap down Jin and Jen. He double blocks Kirin and blocks there and just takes five. Which really isn't that debilitating. He has no cards left in hand, but he's got plenty of blockers, so I don't think that's going to work. I think what we have to do is just swing these two again, tap down his two gens, get some clutter off the board maybe. I mean, if I attack with this gen, I feel like I just die if he draws a spell. I feel like I just die if he draws a spell regardless though. Let's say I go Kirin, Kirin, Jin, tap, tap. Can he afford to block Jin and then just block one and take five? Yeah, I think I have to leave my Jin back again. I really don't want to, but I kind of feel like I don't really have a lot of choices. I feel like I have less choices than ever. This is also game one, and I've used a lot of decisions. I'm kind of hoping he doesn't chump, because then the spell fist seems like a better follow-up. That's actually okay with me. Because now, I was going to say, that's not even true, though. I was going to say, now any spell draw kills my opponent, but that's not true, because he has the student of Ojitai. So, we're actually still in a pretty rough spot here. I mean, we're not in a terrible spot, but we're not in a great spot either. He needs to not have a spell, and then I need to draw a spell. And I think we could maybe do it. Nope. That's not it. So I swing with Kirin. I tap down a Jin. He gets to block with Jin. And, or maybe chump with an Orator of Ojitai. If he has a spell, he can make this a 4-5. It still trades. Um, I think we have to go for that. I could attack with my Jin as well. Yeah, I guess we do that. No, but then the problem is... So I attack with Kirin and Jin. I tap down Jin. He could block Jin there. Play a spell. I think it's too dangerous to attack with my Jin. Okay, pretty unfortunate for us, pretty fortunate for him, but nothing I can do about it. So this guy's going to live. We're likely just going to die next turn, so that sucks, but uh, he drew a really good card off the top, unfortunately for us. I wish it didn't work out that way, but it's out of my control, unfortunately. Yeah, it was pretty important that we drew a spell there, and we just didn't. So, not very happy about that, especially since that was game one, and we're going to be down a game. And uh, I've only had 10 minutes to win two games, considering how grindy this one was. 
I don't feel very confident about that. So I'm going to have to make quicker decisions too, which I really dislike doing. I don't like ever being rushed. Um, but it's, I should just F6. I have no plays. So, yeah, our field maneuver, unfortunately, about as nightmarish as a, of a draw on that board state as we could have asked for, about the best draw my opponent could have asked for. Um, I think it's in my best interest to just concede. Because I, I can't think of any way we can win now. Um, and I'm so low on time, like I said. So that was the Monastery Lore Master. We'll do Negate. And um, I think that's it. I don't have any ways to deal with his uh, enchantment. So we'll bring in Negate. And I'll probably cut Pressure Point. All right. Okay, so I gotta, like I said, make some quicker decisions here. We'll keep this. So at least we have a good opener here. Um, but less than 10 minutes to do two games is never really gives me a ton of confidence, but maybe we can aggro our opponent down and do some work that way. All right, well, we're on track to do that, so that's good. Not sure how good reducing stature is going to be this match. That might have been something I should have uh, taken out in retrospect. At least he didn't reveal a dragon there. I guess that's nice. So we'll do... Unfortunately, the outcast doesn't really work. But I want the land. So we'll do outcast and top this. Get in for two. I guess reducing stature is okay on Orator of Ojedai since it lets me continue attacking. Not very good on a Dragon Bell Monk. I think we'll just swing for three. Fake like we have something. Okay. I think we actually play Drowner here. We're going to sacrifice the Manifest. Uh, Ojtai's Breath, Artful Maneuver. I think we want the Artful Maneuver for the Elusive Spellfest. Okay, so we're going to take five here. I can actually leave up Sandblast next turn, which is pretty good. Way to get rid of that dude. It's an okay draw. Um, not the best, though. I think we anticipate first, actually, just so I get the unblockable. I think I'm just going to find a land here. Okay. So we get a land, these go down, we play a land. Um, I think we just leave up Sandblast. I could have attacked with Drowner, but I think he just would have blocked with an orator. Could have center soul here, but I'm not going to play around it.
Okay, I think we do the artful maneuver. I could have left up. Actually, it would have been wiser to leave up Artful Maneuver in retrospect, because that way I could have buffed my Drowner if he blocked, but I kind of felt like I wanted a race this time around, like I would have had more luck that way. I kind of feel like he's in a bit of a rush, too. Yeah. got two mana up here. So this is going to be unblockable regardless. But I want the damage. Alright, Sorcerer is not too bad. I could play Reducing Stature here, but I don't really like it all that much. I think we just swing with these three. I don't really... I'm not in love with it, though. I, I don't know. I'm just going to get in with this. All right, so we'll counter that, and we'll dump our, all those guys are flying, so I guess we'll get rid of the sorcerer. Scale guard's a great one. I forgot to unmorph my Kirin. Okay, despite a little bit of sloppy play there, we managed to get it in just three and a half minutes, which is good. Our opponent's deck is really good. I mean, I could sideboard in an opinion feast. There's certainly more than enough flyers to kill. It seems dangerous, but is it worth it? I, I honestly don't know. Reducing the stature looks pretty terrible. Let's take out reducing stature. Let's bring in Pinion Feast. Let's try it. Thornwood Falls plus one forest. It's kind of a bold move, admittedly, but I think we'll take out one white mana. I'm not thrilled about it. I don't love it, but Pinion Feast is really good in this match, so it could come up big for us. There's just so many flyers he's got. All right, well, that worked out. That's interesting. Yeah, it, uh, it's actually really interesting. Could have played the Dramoka Warrior there. Blue off the top there would have been really nice, but that's all right. We'll just play Spellfist number two and pass. The problem is I can't really fake my opponent because when I don't have something, there's still a chance he does. You know what I mean? Not having to gate there is pretty rough. Um, I think we, yeah, this is kind of tough. Yeah, it's actually really tough, and I'm running low on time, so I have to think fast, which I don't like to do. Did I mention that already? I'm just going to get in with these two. I wish I had a play. 
I really do. Believe you me. Um, I really wish I had a play there. Uh, I just don't. I'm going to... I could leave up Negate. Like I said, I'm not thrilled about it. I'm going to play Dramoka Warrior. I don't, I don't love that either, but I do have an Ojitai's Breath. Like I said, if I, I'd probably spend another minute thinking about it if I had more time. I just really don't have time. No plays is good news, but that doesn't mean he doesn't have anything. I wish I if I had another mana here, this would be so easy. Not having any mana makes this really challenging. I'm gonna Ojitai's breath his sentry, see what happens. Like, I could have done Artful Maneuver, but, yeah, that's exactly what I didn't want to happen, but it did just happen, so there's that. So it's going to counter our Ojitai's Breath, which is really bad, since we're not going to get the rebound effect. If I'd spent more time, I probably would have done that play differently. But, once again, because I'm low on time, I'm, I tend to not make very good decisions, or as optimal decisions as I should have. It's not like we're in the worst shape ever, but we're not in a good place anymore, unfortunately. Not drawing land is, is pretty frustrating here, since it would have meant a world of difference. Once again, it's not like we're in the worst spot ever, but I, I just think we could be in such a better position if I actually drew lands and I wasn't low on time. Okay. Um, really, once again, uh, unfortunate draw that makes me unhappy. But I uh, think we're just going to swing with everything. Although, M Warrior is pretty worthless at this point. I guess I just swing with Spellfist and Artful Maneuver and hope that I can ride these to victory. That's like all I've got left at this point. That and drawing lands so I can play the copious amount of spells that I have in my hand that really just require one more mana because regardless of any land I could get a sky captain which would be phenomenal right here on this board state I'm not doing it on the Dramoka Warrior because he could just, at this point, chumping with his sentry is pretty good for him. Finally got the land, which is great. So at least we can cast some spells now, which is pretty valuable for us, especially having Negate here. Yeah, we got to counter that. Well, we'll let him pay first. So we have him at one. There's quite a few draws that help us here. Okay. That's actually a pretty good draw for us because him being tapped out, I would say, is pretty beneficial. No attacks. Um, okay, so actually what we do is um, attack with everything and sandblast our own Dramoka Warrior, and then we win.
I'm pretty surprised he didn't attack. I got to admit, um, it, it's not like it would have been lethal, but I'm pretty surprised he didn't attack there. Okay, I was I was operating at pretty not like peak stress levels, but I was pretty stressed out. So I'm glad that we uh, managed to get the victory there in the final round. Once again, I if point out any mistakes you want to point out for, I I have no problem. I'd, I'll definitely go back and look. Um, I will not give a single guarantee that I played that optimally in any way, shape, or form. So, um, like I said, when, when I run low on time, I, I just sort of go in overdrive mode and, and have to make decisions quickly. But we turned out to take two, two games in under seven minutes. So we just happened to have the right draws, which is really nice. Um, it was still extremely close match. Very, very, very close match. Our opponent's deck was good. All of our opponent's decks were, were pretty good. So uh, went 2-1, which is good enough, certainly. And uh, we'll see you for the next draft.